Can angles be decomposed? I've heard the word decompose when working with shapes, arrays, and numbers, but can you decompose angles in a similar way? In this lesson, you will learn that angles can be decomposed and recomposed by examining real-world situations. Let's review. Decomposing means breaking things apart into smaller amounts. For example, I could take this circle and break it into two one-half sections. Or if I have this hexagon, I could split that into two different rectangles. When working with arrays, often it's easier to divide that into arrays within arrays to make problems easier to solve. And we can even decompose numbers into compatible numbers that are easier to work with as well. Let's also remember that the unit of measure for angles is the degree. We know that a circle is divided into 360 equal sections, and one of those measures a one degree angle. We also have some benchmark angles that are important to remember. Half of a circle is 180 degrees, a quarter of a circle is 90 degrees, and three quarters of a circle measures 270 degrees. Now let's talk about decomposing angles. Here's a great skateboard ramp, but it looks way too steep for a beginner like me. I can see using that corner of the paper, it's an acute angle, but still pretty steep. If I look at using my protractor, I can measure and see that that angle is exactly 30 degrees. Again, too high for me. So I wonder if there's some way we can take that ramp and break it apart into more manageable sizes. Can we decompose it into smaller ramps? Well, if I'm just dealing with the number 30, I know one way to decompose that is 10 and 20. Let's see if that works for this particular ramp as well. If I look where 10 degrees is, I can see that's less steep than the original ramp. And then we have some other amounts between the 10 and the 30 mark, which would equal exactly 20 degrees. So if I draw a ramp that's measuring 10 degrees, that would be part of it. And then if I drew another ramp where that one left off, that would represent the 20 extra degrees. 10 and 20 is 30, so this just might work. Let's think of that as a way to stack those ramps again together. So starting with my 10 degree ramp, I can see that's less of an incline. There's the 20 degree ramp. And together those two ramps were the exact same measure as 30 degrees. In this lesson, you have learned that angles can be decomposed and recomposed by examining real-world situations.